Help support AMTV by becoming a patron, an AMTV staff member, and following us over on Twitter. Hi there, guys. It's Adam Martin here. And welcome back to a brand new episode of The Now Review. So the brand new release is now 100 hits, even more forgotten 80s. So if you remember earlier in the year, Now released the first of the, uh, this particular series of albums, which was Now 100 Hits Forgotten 80s, and I really liked that album. The selection of songs was quite good. A lot of them were quote-unquote forgotten, maybe not to me, or to a lot of people, but you get the drift. It was a really good concept, and they've actually followed it up. They've We've recently looked at Forgotten 90s, which I'll just grab down from up here. There it is, Forgotten 90s, which was actually a pretty good album as well, in my opinion. Check that review out if you haven't watched it already. But now we are back for even more 80s goodness, so let's have a look at the front. And again, I really like this design, going with that 80s thing of bright colours, cubes for some reason, because cubes are very 1980s, but for some reason you just get it, and even the even more font, that sort of signature font that was everywhere in the 80s, you see it on so many albums, on posters, etc. It does scream 1980s and a lot of ways and the colours match quite well. It's five discs as it so claims and I like on the spine it's such a small thing but that the even more is still characterised in that 80s style font that it doesn't just conform to the rest. I don't know why they've made that a different colour, that's just a bit weird but anyway uh, yes that's the cover, brilliant and here's a rough look at the track list on the back. Of course when I open this up we'll have a better look at the track list but uh, when I had a brief look at this in the shop today because I did look on the website but it's been a while I was actually really impressed so Let's open up, and we've got the Now app. Yeah, stay up to date with the latest chart hits. Yeah, that's what Google's for, mate. Anyway, so we kick off with Five Star and System Addict, a great song, actually. Dexy's Midnight Runners, and Kevin Rowland, which is weird, because isn't he the frontman of, of that band? I don't know. Star Council, Soft Cell, Don't Break My Heart by UB40. So a lot of these, actually, I'm not that familiar with. Now, that could just be that I'm not... Uh, obviously, I wasn't born in the 80s, um, but some of these um, I do know and I think are quite nice. What do we finish with? Nightbirds by Shakatak. Um, electronics on here, which is quite nice as well. Just having another look at this list. Yeah, nice first disc. I actually don't know a lot of songs on there, so they're really going well with the forgotten motif, at least for me. We've got Was Not Was with Walk the Dinosaur. That's not forgotten, is it? Too Much by Bros. Yeah, I can see that. I'll Tumble For You by Culture Club. Dollar, Level 42, Lynx, Cliff Richard, Kim Wilde, King, and Emotion, Samantha Fox, Touch Me. That's not forgotten to me. I absolutely love that song. It's very cheesy 80s, but I'd say I'd be surprised if people don't remember that one. I'm Not Scared by Eighth Wonder, written for them, of course, by the Pet Shop Boys, who would later cover it for themselves. Waiting for a star to fall, Boy Meets Girl. Nah, that's not forgotten. I refuse that. I'm pretty sure they've whacked that on a now 80s compilation anyway. Nah, sorry, I'm waiting for a start of all. That's not a forgotten song. Um, anyway, what are we finishing with? Heartic Avenue by the Maisonettes. No, nope, I actually don't know that one. Follow now on all their social medias if you want to keep up to date, which is always useful. CD3, you're starting with Marilyn. You've got New Music, Banana Rama, Nick Kamen, then Jericho, Big Country, Status Quo. Just scrolling down a lot of... Hyperactive by Thomas Dolby. Not forgotten to me, but I can see why for a lot of people they might not remember that one. Jack Talking, White Boy by Nick Kershaw, and what are we finishing with? Fuzzbox with International Rescue. Is that, a, well, obviously that is a Thunderbirds reference, but I wonder if that is about Thunderbirds. Fuzzbox are a very interesting band. There's the cover, by the way, without the uh, title graphic, just lots of bright, colourful cubes, because that screams 1980s, apparently, if you didn't know. Billy Ocean, Loverboy, great song. Hue and Cry, Pete Wiley, Arcadia. Let's have a look. So, yeah, a lot of these I don't have. Well, I know Happy Tour. Only You by the Flying Pickets. Again, that's not really forgotten. I'd argue the original Yazoo version is more forgotten than that. But, you know, whatever. Johnny Logan, Hold Me Now. That's not for... That was a Eurovision winner, that was. And that little Bucks Fizzer here as well with Now Those Days Are Gone. Yeah, that's pretty much forgotten. Sky and Takata. Okay. But, yeah, Johnny Logan, Hold Me Now. That's not forgotten. Not to Not to me. And CD5, Shaky Stevens, Alvin Stardust, Boys Town Gang, Liquid Gold, Carly Simon, Musical Youth. Never gonna give you up. I wonder what. Hmm. I wonder. Edelweiss, who bring me Edelweiss. Dance Little Sister, Paul Young, Art of Noise, Bomb the Bass. <laughs> Got a lot of the more late of the decade dance stuff. Doctor in the House by Cold Cut and Yaz. I'd argue that's not forgotten. I might have to dig a bit deep. And we're finishing with The Look and I Am the Beat. So. 
Actually, because I'm I'm usually quite clued up on 80s stuff, but I'm surprised I actually don't remember or know a lot of that stuff. For anyone who knows, I do an 80s radio show on a local radio station called Sign FM, uh, where I do tend to play stuff that is arguably forgotten as well, but I actually don't know quite a lot of this, so this will be good research as an album, shall we say. Uh, right, I'll show you one of the discs now as well. Give you a little taste. Can Adam get the disc out today? Only downside of these ones. Yes, look at that bright yellow, and you've got the wireframe of the cubes. That was quite common in some of the arcade games of the day using wireframes, but I actually really like that disc and the colours they've used. So yeah, props to props to the now team. Well done. I'm gonna do some I haven't done for the others because I'm curious if they're different colours. Let's see what the other discs look like. But now getting them out is gonna be an absolute chore, isn't it? And I don't actually want to ruin the packaging. No, sorry. Do you know what? I'm gonna leave it. But judging from oh well, here's a clue. So look, the artists are in that colour, that was a yellow disc, that'll probably be a bluey disc, that'll be green, that will be pink, and that will be orange, you get the idea. So, this album, who is it for? I mean, it goes without saying, if you love 1980s pop music, then this is an absolute must pick up. I'd pick it up anyway if you like 80s music, or just have a curious interest, because with the first album, I knew a lot more of the forgotten hits that time around, but there was actually still a lot of stuff on that first album I didn't know. So with this one, I expect to be even more surprised as there's a lot I don't know on here. So if you've got a curiosity and you want to hear some 80s tracks that you've never heard before, that's definitely worth picking up. It is just brand new, it came out today, the day I'm recording this, um, the 15th of November 2019, and uh, as such, you know, it'll be like 11, 12, 13 pounds new, depending on where you're going. I got it from my local supermarket down the road, that was 12 quid from Tesco, HMB, not sure what sort of price they're doing, but eventually it will probably make its way into their two for £15 range. In terms of the releases this year, so far on November, this is actually probably my favourite one. I mean, Forgotten 90s was very good, but I, I clo despite being born in the 90s, I still very much strongly like and respect the 80s music, so I'm going to have a lot of fun listening to that album, this album, in full. And that is all for this instalment of The Now Review. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on it and also leave your comments. Let me know if you're going to be picking up Forgotten 80s today or in the near future or if it's just not your thing. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe with notifications on so you're alerted to more videos like this one as there are more Now albums coming. So until the next one, I will see you guys next time. Thank you to our patrons for helping to support the show and a special thank you to Macra, Hooks Media, Ben Freeman, Ethan Carberry Holt, Bruce Danton, The Broken Kitsumanoid, and Francine Salazar, our AMTV staff members.